The inter see, this is in conjugation over here. It's not complete conjugation. Is no, not there's no resonance structures for this compound. We can draw resonance structures. But if it's SPT hybridized, then we're not supposed to uh, draw resonance no, structures. This part, this part is not involved in resonance, but we have resonance still here. So, sir, so there'll be like three counting that. Yeah. This, you can draw this side or you can draw That's this side also. Yeah. Okay. But this carbon is not involved in resonance. Okay. So, when you draw the uh, tautomers of this, one of the H plus from sp3 hybridized carbon atom comes out and it joins onto this oxygen atom. Okay, so and how this how this pi electron shift you see this pi electron comes over here and this pi electron comes over here. Yeah, so it's conjugation, not hyper. Ah. So then what is conjugation? Conjugation means this the condition for pi sigma pi. Pi sigma lone pair. That pi sigma positive charge. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All so these things like, have discussed. Yeah, conjugated yeah, system. Yeah, yeah. Right? So this is the conjugated yeah, system. Yeah. This H plus comes over here. You see here. This H plus will be here. This pi electron comes over here. And this pi electron comes over here. So the structure we get here is phenol. So what do we like to do? Alternate like this. This Shifts come over here, this comes over here. No, no, can go the other way. That also you can do. This comes over here. This comes over here, this comes over here, this goes over here. The same thing. Okay? But in this compound, you see, this is aromatic compound, right? Yeah. Phenol is aromatic. So, conversion of this will be 100% here. Means, after some time, this won't be present in the mixture. We'll have pure phenol will get. Because aromatic compound is most stable compound, and this convert into this complete. Okay. So, so is is tautomerism that the hydrogen always leaves from a sp3 carbon? Always from sp3. Always. Yeah. If you have conjugation, then we'll shift the carbon till we get sp3 hybridized carbon. Okay. One more example I'll write down for you. See. We have double bond O and this. Can write down the product to this one? So, so here there will be two things. Yes. Draw the both structures. Yes. Do we have uh, two structures possible in this? Yes. Two structures possible? So, one of the structures is this. Right? This is one structure. Another structure is what? Yeah, the other one. Yeah, the other one. This is less unstable. This is more unstable. Okay, I'll be thinking. Stability behind. Otherwise, you'll get confused. Why wouldn't that be less stable? Stability, we'll discuss. We wait for those. This is a pre-show of the electrons. I'll show that. These two structures are possible. How do you draw the structure? You see, this hydrogen, either this hydrogen takes part in tautomerism, or this hydrogen takes part in tautomerism. Both possible, because here it is conjugation. So this carbon, this carbon, this carbon, this carbon, sp2 hybridized, no conjugation is there. Conjugation is there, but no tautomeric possibility. So what happens here, this H comes out, right? Or this H will attach onto this oxygen. Atom. And this sigma bond comes over here, makes a pi bond. This pi bond shift over here, we'll get another pi bond here. This pi bond shift over here, we'll get another pi bond. And this pi bond comes onto this oxygen, which takes O minus, which takes this H plus, and the structural Take it. Alternates. The pi electron, pi bond, you have to shift by one carbon atom. Okay? Now, in, huh? other way means this one. Huh? Uh, this one, you see, this H plus comes out. Okay? And this. Uh, Sigma bond makes a pi bond here, and this pi electron shift over here, which takes this H plus. Means the carbon hydrogen bond you have to break. That sigma bond you have to convert that into pi, and you have to shift the pi bond by one carbon. Any doubt? Stability. Stability may be up there. Just wait. Understood? First of all, you should know how to write down the product. Okay? If you talk about stability, this lone pair, right? 
Here we have, uh, see this lone pair is in uh, resonance with this pi electron. And here we have, you see, this one we have extended conjugation. This lone pair, pi, pi, pi. We have extended conjugation. But here we have conjugation till this part only. So what do we have conjugation there also? We have here, see, that's what I am telling you. We can draw conjugating or resonating structure in this manner we can draw. Right? With pi sigma lone pair. Or you can also draw with pi sigma pi in this direction, right? Two different directions the resonance is there. This is cross conjugation. Cross conjugation. This is cross conjugation. But here we have extended conjugation. Pi sigma lone pair. Sorry, lone pair sigma pi sigma pi sigma pi. This is extended conjugation. The resonance resonance. Which one? Extended. Ha, that is more stable. So extended conjugation is always more stable than cross conjugation, right? So this is more stable one. It is extended. And this is cross conjugation. Right? So extended is more stable than cross. Major product will be the second one. Okay. Can you draw the structure in this one? Tartameric structure. No, that you get aromatic. There's only one carbon atom is involved in it. That's only one carbon. Shifting of pi electron is different, but you get only one. What is the structure of the atom? Totomatic structures will be resonance with each other. I mean, the only one that can do it is the atom. So basically, two benzenes with like that. Only this carbon will, well, this hydrogen is involved in totomatism, right? So this hydrogen comes out, right? And this sigma bond makes pi bond here. And this pi electron shift over here. This pi electron shift over here. This pi electron shift over here. And this pi electron shift over here. OK? And this H plus comes over here. So product is what? Fourth fish. 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 This side. Yeah. That's the same is That's the same is Only the position of pi bond will be different, but the structure will be different. Got it? Clear this one? So benzene attached to anything is called phenyl. When the uh, other one has functional, then it is phenyl. So how do you mean the first one? That's the fourth phenyl phenol. This one. This one is what? It's very complex. Yes, 
no, no, that we have double bond or double bond or benzophenone with one. Wait, sir, I would see that all the way out, how do you get fed off? Like, if I just wanted to use the... Hydroxybenzene. Hydroxy. Hydroxy. So that when you oh, don't you use the prefix oh, when there's another oh, thing that's more oh, important? Oh, Would you call it benzene one all? I thought the prefix is only if there's another more important. Or is it benzene? The prefix of this is hydroxy. So we are CH only use the. I thought we only use the prefix if there's another thing that's more important. Otherwise, if we have CH present, that is one. Two, three hydroxy benzene Yes, sir. But if there's if there's no CHO, then we don't use hydroxy. Right? We use all. That's why we have only one functional group, so we use suffix of that. So we don't use So it's just benzene one all. You can say that benzene benzene all. We can say. It's obviously the position of this one. Anyway, so this is in this one. What is the product we get? Tell me. No, no, no. Also here again that yeah, the north yeah. 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 So those two things pop out a carbon acid. Yeah. 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 If we try to yeah. 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 the the in the exhibiting the last compound Oh yeah. See in this one. There is no tautomerism. Because this is not hydrogen, this is CS3 here. H, H plus can come out. CS3 plus won't come. Right? So why can't the back? Yeah. No, no, no. CS3. Because, see, it is, if the effect of this flow, at this carbon you can consider, but at this carbon is not possible because this distance is too much. Right. So electronegativity. Huh? So but, but here we went from there. To yeah, because we have conjugation no, or because the resonance just yeah, carries. Yeah, we have conjugation no, that's why. So it has to be trying, but automatism that carbon ends up forming five bonds. Stop trying. It's not possible. Stop trying. It's not possible here. We say no automatic structure. Automatism is not possible in this because this carbon does not have any hydrogen. Okay, your hydrogen is there, it's fine. <laughs> Understood, right? Now, we have already discussed how to write down the product, okay? We see the mechanism here in acidic medium, how the reaction goes and what is the major product. Tautomerism is possible in both acidic and basic medium, okay? So, acidic medium mechanism we'll see first. Acidic medium means what? We have H plus. Suppose the molecule is this, the simplest one we are taking, CS3, C double bond O, CS3. And the tautomeric structure we have already done, H plus, the structure is CS2 double bond, COH, and CS3. This is the structure. Now how do we get this structure? What are the different steps we have of the reaction, how this reaction proceeds? So first step, what happens in first step? This CS3, C double bond O, CS3, and the H plus from acid, acidic medium it is, so acid gives H plus, right? So H plus get attached onto this oxygen atom, since this has two lone pairs, so it attacks onto this electron deficient uh, hydrogen, and this H plus attached onto this oxygen, okay? So this forms CH3, C double bond OH, CH3, and since oxygen loses its electron pair, so this oxygen will have one positive charge. Okay, right. Now, to stabilize this oxygen, what happens? This pair of electron lone pairs shift onto this oxygen because oxygen is an electronegative element, right? And positive charge on oxygen is highly unstable. So this pi electron will stabilize this oxygen atom and this will shift onto this oxygen. So this we get here, CS3, COH, so isn't this a reaction as opposed to uh, automatism? Because none of the methane. Yeah, but like this gives an external acid. As in, like usually the hydrogen comes from within the dude. So, but in, no, in, 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 the first one, in the first one, why do you need the H plus? Like because you see, for this reaction to take place, 
you must have some medium like uh, that medium you have to provide a reaction medium. But the H plus is not actually being used, right? It's it is not being used. Plus. It will come out in each, like eventually it will come out from the reaction mixture. So it is not getting consumed. It is behaving as a catalyst in this reaction. Okay. So with this mechanism, you understood. See, is this correct? Is this correct? Yeah. Where? Yeah. It's so good. If there's an extra, it has a charge with the ice. Uh, so how is he? No, it's correct. Yeah. But it's a different compound. Yeah. 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 The following yeah. is. I did not finish it. Yeah. Oh. This converts into this. The path of reaction, that, that's, that's what we are discussing, the mechanism of reaction. Okay? So this is a carbocation. You see here, it is a carbocation. And carbon will have positive charge because this carbon, here we have one electron of the carbon atom and one electron of oxygen. And this oxygen takes both the electron of carbon atom also here. So carbon loses one electron, that's why carbon has positive charge. So we'll get a carbocation. This is a carbocation. Positive charge on carbon atom, it is carbocation. So why again carbocation? Because positive charge on carbon atom. No. <laughs> this one. Oxygen has positive charge. It is highly unstable. So to stabilize this, this electron pair is stable. Okay? Now in the next step, in the next step what happens, the molecule we have CH2COH, CH3 and one hydrogen is here. This H plus comes out because H plus is behaving, acid is behaving as a catalyst here. So it won't get consumed in the reaction. The concentration of acid must be constant, right, throughout the reaction. So this H plus comes out and leaving this bond pair of electron behind, this carbon will have positive charge. So H plus comes out into this and we get CH2, double bond COH, CH3, plus H plus O. So concentration of acid is not changing here. In the first step, H plus get consumed, in the last step, H plus releases, right? This step, the second step, is the RDS of reaction. You know what is RDS? RDS is rate determining step. Okay? Slowest step is always the RDS of the reaction. Right? If the reaction is taking place by two, three different steps, the one which is the slowest step is the RDS of the reaction, rate determining step. Okay? Now in this step, we always define the major products according to the RDS of the reaction. You should know this. This is not RDS, right? RDS is this. Now in RDS, we we'll get alkene, correct? So we'll try to get most stable alkene. If it is more stable, the reaction goes in forward direction, correct? So in acidic medium, what we'll try to form, if the medium is acidic, most stable alkene will form. Most stable alkene is the major product. Alkene is the major product. So if the tautomeric tautomerism gives more than two alkene, then acidic medium will try to get the more stable alkene. So in this the more, one alkene possible, right? Uh, in this only one possible. Okay? So that I didn't understand. I know that. <laughs> See the this is the Megan, did you understand this? Okay. So like, I got this, uh, I got that this is the RDS. Uh, but then if this is the RDS, then like this had to be formed over here, right? Like this, this first step takes very little time. Mm -hmm. uh, right. And then after that, it has to do that, right? Do that to this one. It has to form that, right? Huh. Because yeah. H plus is only a catalyst. Huh, right. and then how does the, like how can you say that this will be the like less stable product? Because it's really that independent. I didn't say that it's less stable. See, all, first of all, all these are intermediate of the reaction. Yes. These are not the product. So intermediate has to convert the product. Obviously, intermediate can never be the product of any reaction. Carbocation, you never get carbocation, carbonyl, or free radical as the product of any reaction. It forms during the process of the reaction. And eventually it converts into the final product. Okay, because these are highly unstable species. Intermediates are highly unstable. You cannot get as an intermediate as a product of any reaction. Okay? 
So this step I am writing it down to make you understand. It is not like obviously this takes place very little time. This what I said. This is this is slowest step, right? So time taken for this conversion is obviously more than the time taken over here. Oh, because of common ion effect, it won't go further until this happens. What is common ion effect? Because because of C, like if I count that as an ion, which one? H plus. No, no, sir, that. This one, yeah, this one. Because there'll be too much of that, so then it won't go in the forward reaction. Forward reaction. After this, you are saying. After this. So after this. Yes. And then this is the slowest process. No, actually, so I have. See, I have written this this way. Actually, after this only, this H plus comes out and we get this product. Yes. Okay, so, so it but, is. But that takes more time, so then. That's why this is one step. Another step is this. So one step is formation of an intermediate. Second step is conversion of intermediate into product. That's how it goes. Okay. So so over here the, the only alkene is this one. Is this That's in this case? In this case, if you have more than one alkene possible, then the major will be the one which is more stable. Alkene. Why I am you know emphasizing on this thing? Because if suppose in case if the first step is the slowest step, right? Try to understand this. If this step is the slowest step, then in this step we are getting a carbocation. So we'll try to form most stable carbocation, and the most stable carbocation gives you the major product of the reaction. So, right after the RDS is the most stable product. Yes, this is RDS, and this gives an alkene. So we'll try to get most stable alkene as the major. So, but why is it that the slowest thing will give the most stable? I didn't understand. No, no, no. It's not. Since this step is slowest, that's why we'll try to figure out the most stable alkene. It has to exist for the longest time. It takes maximum time. If we compare the time here and here, the time required here it is more than this. That's why it is the slowest step. And since in the slowest step alkene is forming, that's why the stability of alkene gives you the major product. More stable alkene, the major product of the reaction. So, but if the alkene is more stable, then won't it go faster because it will be much more. Eager to become more stable. That's why the reaction goes in forward direction. Wait, wait, but wait. it goes very slow, right? It it is going slow, but this has maximum tendency to convert. <coughs> and see, look, we are saying that it is slow. You cannot even imagine that and the reaction gets over. Why it is slow? Because this takes a little longer time than this. And watch it. So the product of the RDS must always be its most stable form. Yes. This product, see, this product you will get here. This product, you will get the most stable one also and the least stable one also, if it is possible. But which one is measured? The one which is most stable. That is the major product. So, in different tautomerism, step one or step two can both be RDS. Can either be RDS? No. For acidic medium, this is the RDS. Okay. So step Basic one medium, is the RDS. Why will it go to step two? Because step one is already the major product. Why the step one the major product? I'm saying if it was the RDS. Yeah, if it is, see, if it is the RDS, okay, then we are getting carbocation here. So we'll try to get most stable carbocation first, and that stable carbocation gives you the major product of the reaction. So, but the obvious because intermediate, these are intermediates, so it cannot be the final product of any reaction. It has to convert into some other product. But if it is possible that we can get two, three different carbocation. Then the carbocation which is most stable that gives you the major product. We'll consider the stability of carbocation if the first step is the RDS of the reaction, which is not the case here. So, so even yeah. if the first step was the RDS, once the reaction reaches the continue, right? Yes, obviously because okay. it is an intermediate, it has to convert into product. So, so but if huh? Yeah. We'll, we'll see, discuss some examples. So, you'll understand what. So also, if that step is the lowest, like that conversion, mm -hmm. then doesn't that thing exist for the longer time? As in the thing that's taking the most, the most, the thing that's taking the most time to convert, doesn't that exist for longer than the product? If the product forms, it will be there in the mixture. Yeah. Right. It will be there. Right. But this one, obviously, this step is slowest. So this takes longer time than this conversion. We are comparing this. It's a relative thing. Oh, so you need the most stable carbocation and the most stable. No, no, no. That's what you are not getting. Most stable. We are not considering this because this does not, you know, affect the rate of the reaction. Rate of the reaction is affected by this step. Removal of H plus. Okay. Formation of carbocation does not affect the rate of the reaction. 
will will discuss a chapter in 12th grade that is chemical kinetics it is based on the rate of the reaction only so rate of the reaction is defined by defined by the slowest step of the reaction so if i ask you at what speed the reaction is going on you have to consider this step not this one okay because this defines the rate of the reaction so also the stability like increase uniformly like that being the least stable and this the most stable which one like this like no no we cannot compare the stability of this Right, the medium is acidic. We'll have some stability, but that that won't affect the formation of product. Yes, as in like in every step, does it become more and more stable, or is it not related? No, that is obviously true. If the react the product is not uh, that much. No, see, this is neutral, right? And this is carbocation. So if you compare the stability of this, obviously neutral one is more stable. But in the medium, in the acidic medium, the reaction goes this way. Lone pair of oxygen takes the H plus and forms a carbocation. If we have more than one carbocation possible, then we say, okay, this carbocation is the more stable one. So we'll form this carbocation and we'll get the product according to the more stable carbocation. But you cannot compare an intermediate and reactant. The stability of intermediate and reactant you cannot compare. You can compare two different reactant, which one is more stable. Two different product you can compare. Two different intermediates you can compare. Yes. So what is this? No carbocation. Ah, we'll do that. With these examples, we have discussed enough. Okay, that is not required.